M0 FXB iRadio UV98 Rad Tail 880. Let's have a look at the spectrum. First thing is set yourself a shortcut key. So I have put in the airband frequency. To go into VFO mode, just press the hash. Mode. And you'll hear it. Frequency mode. frequency mode is VFO mode. And then I've typed in 133850. It automatically selected. AM, although you can do AM, FM. So anyway, set a shortcut key, the green line, Basic menu settings. button, then go down to key define, key down definition. one, key definition, and then keep going with the down arrow. And I've set it on number one. So let's have a look now. They are number one, menu, and look, spectrum's at the top, and I just select it. So now we can go into Spectrum, put the frequency in, hold down number one, and we're in Spectrum. Okay, and with the new firmware 1.05, you've now got two modes. If you hold down the hash, scanning, so you're not going to hear anything, but you're going to see, look, you can see all the activity, which is very nice. If you press and hold again, it goes into what they call monitor mode. I'm going to hold that down. And now, when there's activity, you will actually hear it. It's pretty good. Just now, it was auto-switching. One of the key things to worth noting is the squelch. See, it says here 80. The way you change it is you press the star, and you're on RSSI here, which is changing. But press the star. You can change the step. So let's do that now, actually, um, by typing. Uh, so you go... You don't go up and down with the arrow, you actually type, so we go zero, 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 let's go five. Okay, and then if we press the star again, we can actually lower the squelch, but you don't go up and down, you type it. So let's just go zero, two, zero. That's probably a bit too low. So we'll go zero, three, zero. Oh. Yeah, let's try zero, zero, three, zero. Zero, three, zero. There you are. I moved away with the star. Still a bit too low, I think. I've, I've noticed, see the way it's frozen now? I've noticed it does that. So when it does, you just literally have to turn it off and then turn it on. Now, remember that when you're using the Spectrum, you are only using the very first antenna, the very first one. But that the good thing about that is that that's a receive and transmit antenna. The middle antenna is for your HF bands, okay? Uh, but it's receive only. So you basically can't transmit on, say, 20, uh, let me get it right now, um, 14 megahertz on upper sideband. You can't transmit. So let's put the spectrum back on. And it looks like we're still in monitor mode. And when it does come through, it's really clear. You've seen how to change the squelch. Let's go back to, to zero, 070. Let's lower it that much. You can actually change mode. Now, if you press this flat button here, you can go to SSB. But I've tested it on the HF bands and it's just not happening, you know, you're not hearing anything. But on say two meters, you've got FM, AM, and SSB. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, you know, upper side band two meters does get used. So we're in the top now, let's just go one, four, five, like so. And we're in SSB now, monitoring. We could change the squelch, change the step, change the mode. I'm not trying to see, th these seem live. See these figures here? Just press the star again. Yeah, just going up and down here, look. So we did get a, an aircraft just now, it was really loud. Right, let's go back in there. See that, it's jumping. And when it was jumping earlier, you could actually hear them talking and it was switching back and forth. I did post a very short video as it did it. Um, don't seem to be doing it now. 
And notice you can move the arrow, look, you go up and down. You can move to activity. It's just not very busy at the moment. See it there? So I'll hold it down. Oh, missed it. <laughs> it's like playing. It's like playing a video game. Here's another one. So give it a go. I think it's very cool. Come on, sixty-five pound. You can do all this. Remember, it's VHF, UHF. Pretty much, it does. I, I think it does four meters. Let's try it. Um, so zero seven zero. I mean, I don't know how well the chip's going to cope with it. So there's four meters. Um, FM now. So of course you need the right antenna and, and yeah, whether the chip's designed to do four meters is another thing. It will do CB though, or even 10 meters. So I would say you need a, the proper, an, put the, I'll put a HF antenna on there just for fun. Um, of course, experiment, that's what this is all about, isn't it? Just having fun. Um, so HF antenna on there, 28 megs. Um, yeah, not really seeing much. AM, SSB. I'm not seeing any signals really. Well, there's something there actually. Um, let's do the squelch, see what it sounds like. Check we're in monitor mode. That's scanning mode. Monitor's the one where you hear things. All right, well, I thought I'd just show you anyway. Just tinker. Back to air band, I'll put my VHF, UHF antenna. Although my long wire does pick up air band because it's so strong above me, just the length of wire will pretty much pick it up. There, yeah, finally. Oh, we're in SSP. Do you hear that? It was getting it. Way. One I get asked a lot though, if you press star, oh, it's froze now. Okay, if you would just go like so, turn it back on. See my little boot up pick? Cool, eh? Um, <clears throat> Frequency mode. Turn it back on and then just show you that the step we do the because one that people ask for a lot is 833, isn't it? Let's put it in 833. Ah, do that again. 83. No, it's not gone in. So oh, I find that five works fine right? anyway. Because in red there you can see the frequency you're on. But red's not the best colour, is it? Give it a go, bye for now.